Hello, this is just a rundown of the components you need for a uh, Bluetooth connection f for the Sony PS3 controller to a PC. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, really only three components that you need that are hardware. The first one would be a Sony PS3 wireless controller. The second component would be a USB cord. This one was just for my uh, Garmin GPS. Um, any USB cord will work as long as it connects to the end of the controller and then uh, connects to your computer. Um, we also have here a Kivino wireless Bluetooth adapter. Uh, they're about $12 on Amazon. Pretty cheap. All you got to do is put it in. It's just a uh, USB uh, tip and goes in just about any USB port. Um, anyways, that's the components. Uh, we'll show you the software here soon. Here's the uh, website for the software that you need to run the uh, PS3 controller on your PC. Um, it's motionenjoy.com. Um, it's a free download. If you click on the right link, you will not get any added extra malware. Um, there's several things you can click on. I'll show you here in just a second which ones you want to look at. Um, just scroll down a little bit. You'll see some video uh, links there to uh, show you how to do the uh, program. But uh, we're looking right now just what to click on to download it. Um, we have right here, it says 32-bit and 64-bit all in one. And it says Site 1. Go ahead and click on Site 1. It'll bring you up and ask you if you want to uh, to open it or save. Um, we'll go ahead and save as and we'll save to the uh, desktop there. And now that we've got it saved to the desktop, we can go ahead and uh, open that program, run it, and then uh, install it. Uh, after downloading and installing the MotionJoy program, you'll either see a uh, shortcut on your desktop or you can put it on your Windows Start menu taskbar. Um, it's just a little controller that you can see at the bottom. It's uh, pretty simple. Um, I like to keep it on my taskbar so I can click on it anytime I need it. Um, Here's the MotionJoy program set up. Um, it's on right now. Um, it's waiting for inputs. So right now we could go ahead and install our uh, PS3 controller and our Bluetooth wireless adapter. Okay, I came to the uh, driver manager screen on the uh, Ocean Joy program. Um, all you got to do to get to that is um, Here's the main page we started with. Um, all you got to do is click on Driver Manager. Now I plugged in my wireless USB uh, Bluetooth adapter and I also plugged in my uh, PS3 controller both into my computer. Um, right now the program is showing both of them hooked up. Um, under the Device Manager section you want to take and go ahead and click on the uh, two boxes next to the uh, where it talks about the ports then you go ahead and uh, load drivers and this will load it for both of them um, so this will install both your controller and your Bluetooth adapter okay. and you just gotta go ahead and wait and at the bottom of the screen here it'll show you all the stuff uh, here that installed it um, now you want to go back to your profiles and now you should see your USB controller up here in the top left corner as being hooked up to uh, USB here I'm just going to give you an example of uh, how to hook up the controller to the wi wireless USB Bluetooth adapter um, it's pretty easy all you got to do is come up to uh, Bluetooth pair. Um, you got to come down here, 
you'll see the Bluetooth adapter in the top box will show what the Bluetooth adapter you have attached um, down here will show you that you have your USB DualShock controller hooked up um, now all you gotta do is click pair now and then take your controller unhook the cord and then as you can see it hooked up to the uh, computer wirelessly um, any of the lights can come on it doesn't really matter which one as long as it's hooked up we are at the main screen again for the motion joy program um, we have some different options here we can play with um, as you can see now it says up here that our DualShock 3 controller is hooked up to our computer via Bluetooth um, you can easily disconnect it the connection which will turn the controller off with the disconnect button over here um, there's a, a series of options underneath here um, to hook your controller up um, I like to go with the Xbox 360 controller emulator um, this one seems to work the best for games that are in like Steam or Origin um, you can hook it up just about any one of them uh, games and that seems to be the most compatible setting um, after you have that selected you want to come down here and enable um, sometimes it will already hook it up for you you won't have to touch the enable but I like to go ahead just to make sure and now if you want to make sure the controller works you gotta go to the game controller panel which was the bar I just clicked on um, then you want to go to properties and it has a little um, test screen here for the controller to see what um, buttons work and see what's connected um, I'm just going to take and kind of go through the buttons on the controller Oop. Here, let me go back on that we'll open that back up real quick okay now all we, we're going to check our buttons out there's one access, there's another one there's some of the buttons of the top buttons um, start select um, everything seems to be working okay so we'll go ahead and click OK OK again and now our controller is working wirelessly with our PC hope you enjoy I just wanted to talk about one more feature with the uh, Motion Joy program um, it was kind of strange when I first started using the controller on one of my games. It like I'd set the controller down for a couple minutes and it would just die and the controller wouldn't be hooked up to my computer at all anymore. Um, I'd have to go exit out of the game and restart the controller program and everything. Um, I found out the reason for this is all you got to do is go to options and you'll see a option here. It says auto disconnect BT controller if no button action after five minutes. Um, you can change the amount of minutes it disconnects. Um, I like to take that function right off because I don't like it turning off in the middle of the game if I got to pause it and go use the bathroom or something. So just make sure that options removed and you should be all set for uh, keeping your controller hooked up.